Hello everybody, this is Zarian from Power Electrical Developing Advanced Research Group. In this training video, I'm gonna talk about the simulation of the paper entitled Hybrid AC DC Microgrid Test Simulation, a read connected mode, before starting to run the simulation of the paper. Like the previous training videos, I'm gonna talk about different parts of the Paper like the mathematical problem formulation and modeling of different components in the simulation and different analyzes of the results which are provided us in the paper. At the first step, if you look at the figures number one and number two, you can see the conceptual model of microgrid which is provided us in this paper. Figure number one show us a comprehensive model for microgrids. Because according to figure number two, it is consisted from different microgrids such as DC microgrids. AC microgrids and hybrid AC-DC microgrids with different components and different converters. Such as directional converters and bidirectional converters and different. Most reputed distributed generation units like the PV units and diesel generator units. At the next step. If you look at the mathematical problem formulation part, for the equations number one and number two, you can see mathematical model for energy storage in charge and discharge mode also. You can see in subsection two, modeling of all types of the load. For example, you can see dynamic load and nonlinear load as well. So according to figure number seven, you can see a DC microgrid with different component of it. Such as PV system, which is connected to the DC bus with a DC DC boost converter. Also, the DC bus is connected to the upstream network with a bidirectional converter. Also, it uses a DC-DC bidirectional converter for charge and discharge control of the battery system. Also, the equation number 9 to 12 is used to modeling of a boost converter, which is Used in this simulation, also section number 4 described about the power flow equations. Whereas you can see in figure 4 you can find the result of power flow at each. Time simulation for different level of the load. Also, you can see different technical index of the system, such as voltage deviation, also you can see active power.
which is located at each bus, also you. Can see. Power balance in minimum demand and power balance in maximum demand states. Also you can see the voltage profile for each phase, also you can. See symmetrical voltage angle for each bus. And finally you can see our loss per line in maximum demand and power. loss per line in minimum demand, and also you can see the index of power factor which is studied in the simulation for maximum demand and minimum demand. On the other hand you can see the total harmonic distortion index which is Assessed in the simulation, in a general view of this paper, it can be said. The simulation of the paper is very useful for wide range of different studies. That we want to. Assess in our projects. So let's go to run the simulation of the paper. 65. 0 hours 7 minutes and 7 seconds. You should call all of the simulation files in your MATLAB software. 7 seconds for 100. If you want to run the simulation of the paper. So after double click on this simulation folder, just copy the address bar. Then, paste the copied link in address bar of MATLAB software by press the key enter. The simulation files is called in current folder of the MATLAB. You can see the simulation file is called in current folder In of the order MATLAB. to open the simulation and start the run simulation you should Double click on this file and you can see different parts of the simulation As seen, the specified of simulation is mentioned in corner of the simulation also you. Also you can see a general view of the simulation. This is a hybrid ACDC microgrid with its different components. This is upstream network which can be connected to the hybrid ACDC microgrid with this switch breaker. So you can change the state of switch breaker by change its state in this block. Where number 1 is used for grid connected, and number 0 is used for the open state. The state 0 make this microgrid in island mode. In following, you can zoom at each part of the simulation. And you can see converters and different aspect of.
the simulation. Also, you can see the bidirectional converters. which are used as a C, PC bidirectional converter, and you can see the architect of each model. Also, you can see diesel generator, and you can see this part of simulation. which it simulate the DC microgrid. Also, you can see the battery as an energy storage system. And you can see the architect of this back boost converter which is used to. Control the charge and discharge of the. Battery energy storage. Okay. By pressing this button you can run the simulation and see the. Simulation results, due to the time consuming of running the simulation process. I have done, and I have obtained the simulation results. So you can see the simulation results here. This is voltage profile for. Different phase of the voltage in. Different bus of the network also. You can see. Active load which is located to the. Each bus of the network for different. Phase of the system. Also you can see allowed and balancing in voltage magnitude of each phase. Although there are imbalancing loads at each bus of the system. Hence, you can see the system can control the voltage without any imbalance in the system. Also, if you look at the voltage angle in this figure, you can realize. The voltage angles are symmetrical. And the difference angles between each phase are equal. In the next figure. The power loss for each line number has been shown in detail in the next figure. You can see the power factor at each bus. Also, you can see the THD index for all of the bus in the system. This figure shows us that the THD index at each bus is less than the standard threshold THD whereas there are different converters in the system.
but by proper control of the converter in the system. We can control the THD less than the standard threshold at all of the bus in the system. So, as you've seen in this simulation, we can use this simulation as a comprehensive model. For different studies that we need in our projects. In our university and our research institutes. As future works, you can add the cost function for different generation units to study economic aspect of the system. And hybrid them with technical factors and everything that you need in your studies. Thanks for your attention. Stay tuned. Bye for now.